What's going on guys? It's your boy Pizza. Today we're in game number two of round number two. On the left we have cornerback locked down, one of the best defensive players of the year, Stefan Gilmore. And then to his right, the player that has to get double and triple teamed every single play, last year's defensive player of the year, Aaron Donald. This is about to start getting pretty cool because the winner of this game is going to move on to the Super Bowl of the battle of the best player position to verse... Lamar Jackson. Now, I don't want to keep you guys here too long without getting into the gameplay. All that I ask is that if you've been enjoying this series, that you take a quick second out of your day to drop a like on this video. And if you have not subscribed yet, to hit that red button so you're notified whenever this Super Bowl goes down sometime next week. And as always, two things before we get into this game. We have Psalm 56.3. Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. And now down to the man with the plan. His name needs no introductions down to you welcome to los angeles in round number two we're here in the stadium that nobody shows up to everybody of course getting excited for the new stadium to be built out in la on one side my vote for defensive player of the year in lockdown corner stefan gilmore is going to be taking on a tough and whenever i say tough i don't say it lightly matchup in aaron donald both of these teams made it to the big game last year so the spotlight on them shouldn't be shining too bright I think this is going to be a competitive matchup. We'll see if they can settle their nerves early. Pizza, back to you. Thanks a lot, Smelly Fingers. Here we go with the opening kickoff. Aaron Donald. Sky high is one, but it's sky high out of bounds, you bum. So stop doing that crap. Anyways, here we go. New England Patriots decided to get into this one as long as it has nothing to do with how the Super Bowl game went last year because we all know that that was just awful to watch. For real, if you make me sit through that again today, I'm dropping this controller, walking out of the room, and calling Lamar Jackson the Super Bowl champion. We're quickly at a third down and four already. Stephon Gilmore looking to avoid a three and out. They're gonna do just that. Here's the thing you guys gotta remember. Aaron Donald going into his first game versus Khalil Mack was a little bit of an underdog. He ended up winning. Now he's versus Stephon Gilmore. He's definitely a big underdog in this matchup. Not to mention if he manages to win this, he might be an underdog versus Lamar Jackson also. It could be a story to ride with throughout this playoffs. If he manages to pull off all of these games, it might be one of the most impressive things that we've seen in tournament history. So far though, a dominating offensive drive until Aaron Donald lays down the boom. Holy moly, no he's not. Is he really outrunning Stephon Gilmore? Okay, he's not going to. What a hit! Now that is the exciting stuff that I like to see. Momentum has completely shifted. This crowd is chanting. They're going to have to calm down so they can call their plays. First play, curl route. Going to pick up about seven. <laughs> no, that hit was just brutal as we take an extra look at it. Yo, come on now. We all know that that hit has Stephon Gilmore shaken up. It's time for Aaron Donald to capitalize on this right now. Dang, are you kidding me? It's third down already. Things seem to happen so quickly in these games. One minute, it's a forced fumble. You think he's taking it to the house. Next minute, it's fourth down for the Rams. They're actually punting the ball to Gilmore and they're gonna pin him inside the 10. All you LA Rams fans right now hoping for a sack. Oh my gosh, it could happen. That pass that they did was questionable. I don't know what they were thinking right there. To be quite honest, it might have been backwards. They're set up on the two yard line right now in risk of giving up a safety. They give themselves some breathing room though. At this point, if you're the Patriots, what are you trying to do? Just get a couple yards? <gasps> Wow, no way. Wow, they cut that one close. Fourth down and 11. Aaron Donald controlling this now. Come on, Aaron. What's it to you? Show people why that we put you in this tournament to begin with. Believe it or not, the first quarter ended already. Aaron Donald set up on the 28. Pretty good run. The motion now from the wide receiver. Aaron Donald going to try to outpower Gilmore and it's working. We tried to set the tone by doing an 830 game today. Oh no, that could have been picked off. Yep, I don't think I'm ever going to get past. The oh my. Wow. 
That actually almost got blocked. Bruh. It's roughing the kicker. It's a huge call. What? How did that happen? First off, absolutely not roughing the kicker, okay? I'm not trying to be biased here. Second off, I can't believe he almost blocked the punt. Do you know how hyped that would have been? But now, they give Aaron Donald a free first down. They're not playing any games now on defense. They're mad. This is just nuts at this point. If Aaron Donald can't capitalize out of all of these chances, he doesn't deserve to win this game. And right now, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to put the ball in. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I thought we we're getting over the fact of you kicking field goals. He almost made it, though. I have a serious question. I'm sure it's glaring right now. Why is he able to do that? Now the minute and 28 seconds, Gilmore is going to be letting one loose fast, but Aaron Donald just hasn't missed any tackles. Clock going down fast now. Surprise, he's not out of gun. Expect some hurry up, unless if he gets sacked, which happened. And now by the looks of it, flying V formation for the Patriots. They're probably just going to run this and give Aaron Donald the ball back. We might be going into half. 0-0 zero, zero game. Wait a second. Wait a second. Maybe not. I don't know where the heck that run came from, but you're going to make things interesting. We like that around here. Yeah, so a big run on third down and long sets up a nice pass play. They get 15 there. They call a timeout. Things kind of seem like they're flowing for New England right now. Three wide receivers and a tight end set out to go for a pass downfield, which is going to work. All right, you got to stop taunting and kind of get to the line because you didn't call your last timeout. This clock is just ticking. I will never get this part. This actually frustrates me a lot. Gilmore now down to 20 seconds. He goes play action as if that was going to fool everybody, and it didn't, and Aaron Donald came in with the sack. Wait a second. Okay. <laughs> I thought that they weren't going to call that last time out. I was going to lose my mind. Both of these teams have work to be put in at halftime. Gilmore's going to go short again. That's kind of working, but that's about it. Yeah, we're going to halftime. 0-0, zero, zero, your final score at the end of the half. I don't know if it's just me, but Gilmore seems like he kind of has things figured out. I know he hasn't scored yet, but momentum is shifting. You can tell. Here comes the Rams punter for the 20th time today. Oh my. Oh no. Okay, man. That would have been interesting for the first score of the game. Now, wouldn't it have? Big play coming up. Here comes a third down and 10. Donald brings four. Gilmore catches a pass, but that's nowhere near the first down marker. Now, if you take a look at it, the game clock is going down. And the play clock is not moving. I don't really understand that. Okay, there we go. Anyways, <laughs> I'd be more surprised if Aaron Donald was able to drive downfield and get this drive than if Stephon Gilmore had a pick six to the house. I feel like that's more likely. But hey, hear me out. I'm more than open for you to shut me up right now. Please, whatever you do, don't run the ball right here. Thank you. You got that going for you. That could be a first down. You see, get past one guy. No chance. Ball on the 43. Oh, it was a draw. Aaron Donald actually missed the tackle, but he got another forced fumble. Okay, he made Stephon Gilmore pay heavily for breaking his ankles. Now, he's going to be getting the ball here in the run game. That's going uh, pretty much zero. See if they can make something work here. Goes to the draw. That's double teamed. All right, Aaron Donald. Y'all are making me yawn. That was a terrible throw. Oh, man. If he would have got his feet down, that's definitely like top 10 play of the entire tournament. I don't know how many more possessions each of these guys are going to get before we're probably going to see ourselves some overtime. That's a big sack. Here comes the Rams punter now for his 83rd punt of the game as the ball gets down to the 39. New England, what are you doing? Why aren't you just bringing your special teams unit out on the field to punt the ball again? Because that's what you're going to end up doing. I'm going to be be honest i'm riding for you new england i just want to see a score please just give yourselves a chance gilmore needs to throw it nope he's running it but the, the run is working okay keep on rolling that was that was pretty nice the tension now building as new england goes new huddle new huddle what am i talking about oh oh that's what I'm talking about. Why did it take until right now for you to go for something like that? Empty tray set now for the Patriots. They go short. It's an in route. I don't know why you're out in goal line right now, New England. This doesn't make any sense. What are they doing? Play action pass and they get sacked. <laughs> why would you do that? Oh, man. That would actually kill me. Dang. 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 Oh, man.
So fortunately for me, it actually put us automatically into a second overtime, so I didn't have to worry about backing out of the game, which I feared. They're down in seven. Oh my, they actually picked it up. I didn't see that coming. I really didn't. I've witnessed so many third downs and so many punts. Y'all are kidding me. You just picked up a first down? <laughs> Why? Why would you kick that? After first and second down went backwards, it's third and very long. They'll set up to throw. That's how this game ended. Okay. I'm just glad it ended at this point. Negative 30 passing yards. That is so bad. Dude, if Aaron Donald had just made that field goal in regular time, he would have won. Anyways, that's going to do it for this game of the tournament. Hopefully that doesn't tone things down for the Super Bowl game. I'm sure that one's going to be an exciting one. This has by far been the worst game of the tournament, so don't let that dictate if this is the first time watching on how the other games have been. But yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're brand new. You already know what to do. With that said, if you're the best, God bless. Don't forget to keep him first, and we'll see you all on the next one. Deuces.